Hello. Hello. Oh. Hey there, buddy. Uh, I've decided that uh, I've got an idea. We're just going to do a playthrough of Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, I've only played a little bit of this. Not a whole lot. When I did play it, I was like, woo! I like it. I loved it. Um, so... Do normal. Alright, so let's get into it. I got cheese, cheese it's in my teeth, sorry. <clears throat> Loading. Um hopefully I hope I'm not I hope I'm not too laggy. Did try to make some adjustments. I don't know. Come on. We're almost there. Go, go, go. <clears throat> All right, exposition, yay. Quite the gatherer, aren't you, little bast? Now go and see if you can find some more. Hmm? Hope this is not too terribly laggy. I really hope not. Well done. That's a good boy. Children, Children. come with me. She's an outcast to be shunned. There. Oh, come on. There. There she is. Okay, we'll crouch. This must be a ruin of the metal world. One of the old places. Ross said never go in places like this. But I have to find a way out. Look at that, I'm making it all cinematic and everything. I 
don't know why I'm trying so hard to make it look all cinematic. Something is off about this kid, man. It's like the head just does not match up with the body. What's that? A dead person. There's something shiny there. Okay, I'll just take this off this dead person and wear it. A metal door, closed. Maybe this device I found can help. Okay. A shape. It's connected to the door somehow. any goodies. jump. Let's go sneaky sneaks. Dodgers. Let's go sprinties. Where am I going? The door changed color too. It 
did it. Director Evans, flash traffic from USRC. Black quartz encryption. I've rooted the message to your hollow grid for viewing. Excuse me, guys, I'm gonna have some cheese in this. What's that? You think I want it this way? It's the best I can do. He's right behind you. Hi! <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. Look, Daddy can't be there with you and Mom, but... We can still have a party, right? <laughs> sure we can. <laughs> Show me. Show me again. I can do. He's right behind you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. Look, Daddy can't be there with you and Mom, but we can still have a party, right? <laughs> sure we can. <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. Okay. You may have to do an install disc on one. Well, I did. I, I had to do it on both. And his two was in there because I was doing that the other day and then that's what I'm playing. Uh, process of elimination, I would think two? I'm not sure. I Love you. Alright. Excuse me, fellas. Oh, look, there's a thingy there. Well, Happy New Year, dear diary. Can you believe we actually celebrated last night? Well, we did. Kind of. Director Evans invited everyone to gather in the community room. Don't know where she got the party hats. That was a ghoulish touch. So they always said watching the clock tick down to midnight, and I'm thinking, am I the only one who gets the symbolism of this? It might have been worth it if Skylar had gotten drunk again, but I seem to be a mistake she doesn't want to repeat. Mmm. I saw them lining up in the community room. Like cattle in a slaughterhouse, but smiling at each other. Shauna handing out meds like being alive is some kind of pain to be eased. Well, not me. I don't want to go quiet. I don't want to trail off. I want a period at the end of my life sentence, none at ellipses. Hell. There you go. An exclamation mark. So if that upsets yeah. whoever finds this, too bad. I don't know anyone, anything, anymore. What? All right. Waiting for the ride of our life.
Serenity. Great idea, Director Evans. Like I haven't done enough for Serenity already. Like what I happened to here like this if not for posterity. I'm done with posterity. Posterity can go. What are we just gonna say? Machu Picchu. Always wanted to see that. I never did. Why didn't I go with Owen when he asked? Stupid. Should have gone. Well. What? I don't even know what happened. And maybe that's all I need, you know. That moment the door opened and you were standing there wearing Why? that retro wave dress and the way you smiled. I had to look away or you were going to see on my face what had just blossomed inside me, you know. It was just an instant, but I knew. I knew we'd be forever. And pray for us in this now and at the hour of our death. I mean, uh, death. I'm sorry. It's been a while. Oh, these meds Johnny gave us are really something. So, uh, okay, from the top, kids. <clears throat> Hail Mary, full of grace. Aloy! Aloy! Are you down there? He found me. Frost found me. Down here. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, Mother be praised. Come, girl. Take my hand. You don't belong down there. Come. Such places are forbidden, Aloy. I fell in. They are of the metal world. What is that on your face? Nothing. Did you find it down there? No. Give it to me. No. Aloy, such things are dangerous. No! no! Sneaking away from home, you'll need to know how to survive in the wild. Come, Aloy. Home now. But starting tomorrow, you will learn to hunt. We're gonna learn to hunty hunt. Do the hunty hunts. to that plaything. We descend to the valley now. Follow. Mm, let's do it. The wilds can be dangerous, Aloy. 
You will need to stay close and do as I say. I know. Now, you're still scratched up from that fall you took yesterday. So let's start there. Take this medicine pouch. I'll show you how to fill it. See this plant over here? It's called salve brush. Come, gather its berries in your pouch. Good. Now eat the berries. <coughs> they may taste bitter, but they can save your life. Always keep your pouch full of medicinal berries, and flowers, and plants. Where are we? This valley is just a part of All Mother's embrace. Embrace. The Nora tribe watches these lands and keeps out the most dangerous machines. Usually. Further down river, we'll find a herd of machines, and I will teach you how to hunt. Are they dangerous? All machines are dangerous, Aloy. Their power must be respected. But I will be beside you. Mm. Aloy, a machine is coming. Crouch and follow me into the tall grass. There. Now stay low. Little one. No, Aloy. Such machines are called watchers. You must learn to avoid their gaze. If you are to survive in the wilds, I will show you. Listen close and do as I do. Stay still. Wait for it to pass. Now keep low and follow me across the trail to that tall grass. Let's do it. Oh, another one. Let it pass. Come, back this way. The slower you move, the quieter you'll be. And crouched walking is quieter than upright. Wait for it. That's the last of them. Let's move on. Robots and dinosaurs. Okay. Not lagging too terribly bad now, I hope. You did well. They didn't see or hear you. Now stay close. That herd should be just ahead. Who's that? Ignore him. But why is he up there? Smiling at us. Tab! Get back where you belong! Tab! Where are you? Ignore him. We are outcasts and he is of the tribe. Maybe he doesn't like the tribe. Then he is a fool. Come now. Let's find that herd. Follow. Ooh. There. See them? These are called striders. Ha! Get! Why 
How'd you chase them off? <sighs> to show you how some machines startle easily if they detect you and run away. Their best approach by stealth. Don't worry. We'll catch up with them further down the valley. You'll see. Now, I want you to find some rocks that fit the cup of your hand. Why? Do as I say, Aloy, and gather the rocks. I will show you. Get the rocks! <laughs> Those will do. Follow. You with me? I'm getting as many rocks as I want! Not wasting time. Aloy, come now. I'm coming. Stop wasting time. Aloy, over here. There's the herd. All right. It's time to throw some rocks. But rocks can't hurt machines, right? No, but they can distract them, draw them into traps. Like that watcher over there. It must be dealt with, or we'll warn the herd and send them running before we get in range. Warn them? How? The machines speak to each other, Aloy. Unless they are first silenced. Now you stay here on the ridge. On my signal, throw rocks and draw the watcher over to me. Wait for my signal. Throw rocks! Throw a rock near me. There. Come, girl, it's safe now. Come, girl. Talk to me like that. Harvest a kill so I can teach you how to make arrows. Harvest a kill, Amy. Pay attention. Use the stalks as arrow shafts and metal shards for our heads. Okay. Uh... Boom. Good. You'll never run out of arrows uh... if you know how to craft what you need. Let's put those arrows to use. Follow. Yep. Just the same. Sneaky sneak! Here, stay low on the grass and be quiet. It's time to make your first kill, Aloy. Strider, one of the weaker machines. But even a weak machine can kill a hunter if she's careless. You must study your brain. Its hide is thick, but there are spots where it is vulnerable, like its eye. Can you guess another? The canister on its back. Is that a weakness? Yes. How did you guess that? The device. It showed me. That plaything? Stop playing games. Now, take down that strider. Target the un- Keep firing! Tip! Keep firing! Don't yell at me, I got it.
Can you drop something else? It was me. You did well today, but you have much to learn. Tomorrow, we train again. Mm. What was that? That boy. The one running the brave trails. Follow Eloy, quick! Hmm, excuse me, guys. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Stop telling stories. I'm not. I can sneak through. You will not. Do the walk me. Do the watch me. Uh, uh, Aloy. Uh, 